Momchilo Krajishnik's arrival at Serb President Biljana Plavsic's stronghold of Banja Luka signaled that the feuding leadership was prepared to settle its differences. Plavsic is no moderate but has been under attack from the hardline camp led by her predecessor Radovan Karadzic. A ceremony in the Serb Orthodox calendar ostensibly brought Karadzic, frontman Krajishnik and Plavsic together, but NATO's swoop on two suspected Serb war criminals has forced the factions to bury their differences and attempt to present a united face. Krajishnik acknowledged the meeting could be a turning point. Serbs have been angered by NATO's actions, particularly the killing of Simo Daraljaca while resisting arrest. His body was transferred from Tuzla to Banja Luka for an autopsy. His funeral will be on Sunday. Thousands had earlier participated in night-long candlelit vigils for the former police chief of Priador. He was indicted as a war criminal for allegedly ordering the killing of Bosnian Muslims and Croats in a detention camp. The death of one man prompted this outpouring of grief among Bosnian Serbs. They're not the only ones who still feel the impact of war. Two years after the fall of Srebrenica, women widowed in the aftermath were stopped by S4 troops as they made their way into Serb territory to place flowers on a mass grave. An international policeman warned of possible problems ahead. Uh, our patrols in the area where the ladies wish to go have been uh, had rocks and sticks thrown at them and therefore we are recommending to the women that they not, not appear or not go to that area. Freedom of movement is guaranteed under the Dayton Agreement and the women prevailed. For these women, the war is not over. Justice has yet to be done.